Hi, I'm Helen Learn. I'm the co-executive director of LA Masa. We're a nonprofit organization that designs and builds initiatives that promote neighborhood resilience, while also elevating the agency of working class communities of color. Um, I'm a native Angelino. I'm a child of working class immigrants. And um, outside of work, I also serve on uh, the City Planning Commission for the City of Los Angeles. Uh, next. So I'm gonna talk about our work in affordable housing, which was inspired by conversations we had with neighbors in Frogtown, a working class and rapidly changing community in Northeast LA next to the LA River. About five years ago, we launched Fraturo the Frogtown, a co-visioning process to shape land use policy and understand what community members want to see as our neighborhood gentrified. What we heard was loud and clear, that common proposals for live workspaces and adaptive reuse projects did not cater to working class families, many of whom were renters. At the same time, traditional affordable housing could not do more than retain census diversity. What our neighbors wanted was housing that would retain existing residents, the fabric of our community. So with that dilemma and new progressive state laws, uh, which you see here, our team of policy wonks, organizers, and designers embarked on a journey to create a program that would help low to moderate income homeowners become providers of affordable housing. We envision single family homes, garage conversions, more officially known as accessory dwelling units or ADUs to be built and rented affordably by average homeowners. So how do we go about this process? We first helped the city of LA design their ADU pilot project in Highland Park, which made the case that ADUs can be contextually designed and affordably built. The city adopted a new ADU policy and now has their own program, LA ADU Accelerator. We also served as technical advisors to the county of LA on their ADU pilot program, which provided $75,000 in forgivable loans to homeowners willing to rent to a family who is formerly homeless for 10 years. After working with both the city and the county, we learned there are a lot of barriers. So last year, after talking to over 100 homeowners, we launched the Backyard Homes Project. Here's how it works. We guide homeowners every step of the way from design to construction. We partner with nonprofit banks to create a new mortgage product for those who did not have access to their own source of financing. Homeowners get landlord training and they're matched with tenants who receive ongoing support. You'll see our list of partners on the left. Our backyard homes cost as little as $100,000 and designed to reflect the context of LA's architectural styles, modern, craftsman, Spanish. Homeowners can adapt their existing garage or build a new unit. A year and a half into the program, we received over 200 applications throughout LA and have about a dozen homeowners in the pipeline, all committed to renting their ADU affordably for five years. But we have much more to do and you can help. We created our program with the belief that everyone should have access to wealth building opportunities. But if we really want low to moderate income homeowners to be able to participate, we need more than a loan with great terms and half a dozen nonprofit partners providing support. We also need free cash incentives. So after working throughout LA, we are returning to our own backyard of Frogtown where our conversation on affordable housing began. We plan to develop ADUs with families in Northeast LA who commit to housing their neighbors. So in closing, to the building practitioners out there, we ask you in joining us in a commitment to, su to support housing as a communal effort. If you're a developer, consider renting below market. If you're a homeowner, say yes in my backyard and rent to a neighbor. Let's create housing where working class families can live and let's build communities that are inclusive. Thank you. <laughs>